I wasn't here for. Or do we not to yet? The email we got from the right here, new pro, the Breeding Nids Wilmington Convention and Visitor Bureau. Mm -hmm. um, well, I read the email she sent. Okay. And good. I was just wondering if you had. I mean, I missed all that. Have it responded? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just got email a couple days ago, I think. Yeah. So I thought I'd bring it up. She, from what I read, she seems to to grow the sport with us. Well, first of all, she thinks she seems like a she. Yes. Good. She. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Breed. Yeah. And she. yes. Not a she. Not a he breed. Like that. Basically, we just she mm -hmm. read the email to us, and we said. So fucking awesome. would it be a good idea that when we uh, figure out our next Azalea meeting, maybe including her? Should you? Because I know I know by the next Azalea meeting we should have the sponsorship packet that we want to present. Maybe get her on board with all that. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like she wants to be. That's a, what I'm saying. She seems stoked. Uh, that's a member of the club in a sense. Absolutely. She's gonna tell every, anything we do, she's, she's gonna be our kind of yeah. So, so there are there are two really, 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 really big disc golf tournaments payout wise in the state of North Carolina right now. One is Rocky Mount, which it was an A tier this year, which an A tier is huge, mm. and the other one is Goldsboro, which was a B tier this year with it going of added cash. And the reason that they had the added cash is because the Chamber of Commerce yeah. of that city got behind that tournament and just wrote a check for thousands That's of what I was dollars. Excited about when I saw the which is nothing. Huh. $3,000 to a Chamber of Commerce is literally mm -hmm. a drop in a bucket. Mm -hmm. That's a so if we can get this there. chick behind right. us and show us what... It's all about, it's been said, it's all about heads and beds. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. When we bring a hundred people plus to this county to rent hotel rooms, spend money in restaurants, yeah. fill their gas up in convenience stores, right. that is a sales so we need person's not, gold mine. Right? We need not mention that they all crash on our floors. Doesn't matter. Doesn't <laughs> no. matter. No. They have no we idea. Just say yeah. we're They're going to stay at the women's uh, we're bringing, we're, 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 we're bringing 280. We're bringing 280. Hang on. I just had to do that gold well, world. They have no idea. Right. I ever did go long It's a huge thing. Well, I wanted to pitch their head. It's a professional chick? caliber. It's a PDG event. It's a professional yeah, disc golf association sanctioned event. Right. It is absolutely as professional oh, yeah. as well, I read the email. I read the email. I was like, finally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This now, is a huge, you, huge, huge email. thing. Because I am you you know, admin. in rotation with a club email. Okay. Yeah, the admins, all the, all the uh, committee chairs right. have access to the Google. The Gmail account that Bob set up, which I thought was a great idea, to make something public to have a Gmail account that says, "This is our email. You guys can monitor it." I think we were talking about at least at, at our meeting of the tournament committee, we were we were leaning towards the pro being a tier. Not this year, but ne next year, absolutely. 2015. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's what I'm saying. 2016. Yeah. Oh. I mean, if you yeah. guys want the A tier of applications, is the application. October, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe it's a B tier, but it's A tier money. Wait, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we can, and that's, and you can do that anytime. I'm telling you yeah. guys, the thing about B tiers and A tiers, it, uh, yeah, you throw an A tier, you're good. I tell you guys, if we throw an A tier, we are going to get professional yeah. golfers, not not regional North Carolina golfers. We're going to get professional golfers. You look at Paul Eulabari and Katrina mm -hmm. Allen coming to Rocky Mount. Right, but I think an A tier. As long as even if we do a B tier, but we. We put out there how much money in the yeah. pro purse. I think it's not gonna matter. <laughs> well, you know, Status. I mean, dude, we had we had a, a Dustin. I can't think of his last name. Kid from Atlanta coming oh, to the yeah, Azalea yeah. Pro yep. this year. We had some guys traveling. I mean, the, 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 the reputation of the Azalea Open sure. is there. I'm telling you guys, we people freaking want to go to that course and challenge themselves, and we do a great job of raising money. If you're right. If you put the money there. They will show up, but if you put A tier status mm -hmm. on, right. Right. you will get traveling professionals, no doubt about it. We'll get Steve Brinster here. Well, where do we you, fall in the equation of like tour events and stuff with the Azalea? Well, the A tier an A tier event is all about two thousand dollars minimum amount of cash. I think, yeah, it was less than we had initially it's two, thought. Yeah. I think it's two thousand yeah. dollars yeah. minimum yeah. added cash on top of if you now this is the downside. If you are an A tier, I think you have to be a current member of the PDGA. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can't pay the ten dollar membership, which for the open, almost everybody's exactly. officials are. That's what PDG we members. A tier. Um, I think in 2016, I think an A tier is everything we should want to grow to. I think we, we should take an A tier all day long. Don't you have to post scores after each round? Twenty four hours. Oh, uh, you do. Yep. Which is nothing. Uh, which yeah. nothing. Which should be great. Right. So, I mean, there's like yeah. I mean, there's just awesome. There's a few other things that are. How about as far as like the so, calendar, the calendar year for like two events? Well, so for the A tier, to, to yeah, be in the A tier, we have to we have to apply October. October. So we have to let. I think we should, if we want to do this within March, February, February, March, April, we should let the state coordinator know that in 2016 we want to go A tier, and then we let the PBGA know that we want to go A tier, and then you have to apply for A tier status. You have to apply to be approved for A tier. But you, you apply for the PBGA. Absolutely, and with the, and they will basically approve anybody as long as there's not an A tier within like. 200 miles, which we will not have a problem being in our time of the year. Mm -hmm. We should be, we should be set up. All right. Well, what about looking at 2017, 2018, perhaps? Looking at an NT event. Now you're talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it, it's going to be big money, but if, if we step up to A tier. I mean, well, it's, all about, about it's, all about it's all about every one of you guys hitting the them streets, yeah. beating them businesses. What kind of money do we need to look at for NT? Well, well, just hours. Well, you got to think about what kind of shape the course is going to be in 2016. Oh, our course is championship course. No, I'm not with the course. Well, it doesn't have to be like better, but I think so. We just have to go in. In a nutshell, I would just state that we have enough. Another avenue in the county government. We could, Absolutely. you could pitch a sponsor's about a yeah. few hundred right. spectators. We've never gotten one on, on top of the players. That's right. People have independently yeah. gotten to get yeah. raised yeah. money yeah. from. Yeah. We haven't used a group like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like, I'm going to meet you. Yeah. 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 Dreams yeah. here for these days. Yeah. It's taking years. I'm working on it. I'm about to get it done. I'm just finishing up. But he's coming through. He's contributed as much as we've wanted to be here. So. For that, it's just a matter of what our minimum let you read it and see is 100, and I can start saying whatever we can. We make many copies of it to give it to people who want to go out and present it. Yeah, I mean, he's been awesome. So Potential sponsors. He's given like what's going to happen. But yeah, that's... And he's looked at shows. Hopefully be able to do that. Here, Fig, this is something that I just got to... Somebody does that after you do it. I'm going to try to get that. Yeah, yeah. Like, all right, let's get whatever it is. Is that your job? Get a whole bunch of their level? Yeah, I had a maid where they're done. So you and they're the oil. Yeah. The more you get, the more you get. Oh, by the way, we have to do that. If you're interested, I'll be made it for both. Eric, you want to get the oil? Yeah, I want to get the oil. Yeah, we have to do 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 the oil. Yeah, so we could we could have a a B. How many? How many? I bet twenty five. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Y
And I'm telling you, man, the MJ Sports 9 is about, at best, three fucking strokes off per yeah. I mean, yeah. it, I, I, any guy can walk up to 17 and throw it 10 feet past the basket on 17. Yeah. He can do that. No, no, but I'm talking about on a consistent basis. Yeah. He can do that. Not on a consistent basis. Yeah, in a tournament. Bullshit. Who? No, Casey. I played with Casey. No, he can't do it on a consistent basis. I would put a little bit of No, he, he can probably do it four out of 10 times. But MJ can do it seven out of 10 times. I'd probably say Casey seven out of 10. No. Not at all. I'm not talking about Casey. Do you need all, all these loop. receipts? I'm yeah, talking okay. about Casey. Yeah. About to go back yeah, on the post. Because yeah. I, I, this one right here, I bought the post. Mm -hmm. But anyway, but I also bought the post. He's got to see that. I'm paying for it. Yeah. So I just so got to circle the 757. 54. I mean, yeah, that'll work if you want to keep them. I mean, we can always get copies. I say 46. Okay. So that tells me that MJ was. Three on my taxes. Shots. I'm not a Off landscaper. Of so. and, yeah. and that is the biggest well, thing. Okay. So I you guys understand that. You know what will keep pros away from the castle? Um, PDJ player ratings and the castle are fucking yeah. this. Yeah. The guys that come to the castle come to the castle because they love that course. Because it's not doing their rating any fucking good. Their rating is suffering from coming and playing our tournament. They come and play our tournament because of our money. Yeah. And because that course is fucking rating. amazing. Yeah, because there's yep. two things That's exactly where I right. care. But the guys that are worried about their rating bought something will else. Never okay, ever so you just circle the one that was yeah. okay. right there. The large mixing tub, thirteen it's bucks. Just thick enough. There is no so ten. So what was what was? Yeah, I can figure that out. What was MJ's forty nine? Yeah, if you want to know what it was, make a hundred Man, I don't need it. Okay, it wasn't down anywhere. It was down there. I think no, I it was probably a more like 1060, like which is absolutely ridiculous. And that's I, what I'm I, saying. I, I heard it was 1110. No, it was not 1100 rating rail. Absolutely yeah. not. No, yeah, absolutely not. 1100 rating rail has only been known five times. Mm -hmm. Once by Brian Schwebberger, once by Skinny from Virginia. I didn't know. It's only been known five times. So that's the whole thing is that what, what it said, what it, Sizzle always makes this point, is that the castle, yeah. there is no way that you will come shoot 10, 4, 10, 40 rated rounds yeah. in You will not shoot 48 four times. Yeah. But you could if you bought the best. And that's what he's saying. He's like, that's what, well, that's what, that's what Tizzle says is that it just, it, the rate, that's why Tizzle hates the rating system. He hates the rating system. He doesn't think that it's accurate. I feel like it's not perfect, but it's as good as it needs to be. But, so say we, I was beating on Facebook, we come out and come to the castle and try Against MJ, <laughs> yeah. the five time oh, yeah. well, reigning champion. He can climb a very short pole, you'll bear it. We'll get buried. We'll remember, get buried. Yeah, we'll get remember that year we sent the postcards out? That was awesome. Like, this is what you did last year. That was really neat. That was something Boz did. And I thought that was really, that was really fucking cool. The postcards? Cool. Yeah, the postcards. Yeah, that was, that was, that was super cool. With the, what you shot last year, your invitation. So could we get with MJ and Scott have him publicly in his house? Scott Trout. He's a little plot. That's not his We might have brainstormed. What if we paid attention to you? No, he's not going to do that. That's what it's about. The whole thing, the whole thing this was about was that at you USDGC, some of the like the back interviews after yeah. Paul said that he was very impressed with some of the North Carolina courses and that he hadn't played North Carolina much. And then he said, kind of as off the cuff, he said, I hear there's this really fun tournament down at the beach. And the guy behind the camera who you can't see goes, Oh, yeah, the Azalea. And he goes, yeah. he goes, me. and Paul Macbeth goes. Yeah, Castle Hain, right? <laughs> and the guy goes, yeah, that's the one. He goes, I'm going to try and play that one either next year or the year after. So maybe this year. He said Castle Hain. When, 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 when he said next year, he meant this one coming in 20 years. Everybody knows the Castle Just friending. Yeah. The worst thing you can do is call out somebody on Facebook and wait for a reply. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Ulibar? No, yeah. man. Like yeah. Now, he said that in an interview. On YouTube after the USDGC. So you linked that interview. Yeah. Yeah. He said, hey, you need to post that link. Yeah, so I would like to see it. I'd be to find it. it now. Well, well, no, you wouldn't. It's out there. You can find it. Somebody will find it. Well, well anyway, he said it, and I was like, hmm. What tournament was that? Yeah. We need to get some proper yeah. going. That's what I'm saying. Just go on and make it, all I'm going to say, make an innocent comment. I saw the interview with Paul McNeil, as you can see, and was just blown away that he even knew who we were. 
When yeah. he comes out, Paul will wait for you. We can hold, hold a hot dog for you. He'll uh, yeah, he's, probably stop waiting on you. He's super. <laughs> he's super active on There's social media. If you, if you put it out there and tag him in it, he will oh, see. Yeah. It. He There's will some see states it. out there that. Have I'm, just, I'm just saying, if the current that. champion comes yeah. to our I mean, I so. I mean that'd be great. If you I, I would like to get That's some more reach. We got we got that kid from Georgia. I'd like to see Steve Brinsker. But oh, see, yeah. I'd like to see Joe Mail. Nate Sexton. And obviously Mail is not traveling as much as he used. Nate right. Sexton now is making a big... Well, yeah. Nate, Nate Sexton will be in the event. Big no yeah. 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 Oh, Nate North Sexton Carolina. will be oh, at yeah. that time. Yeah. Yeah. He's in yeah. 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 I, I think, I think Nate Sexton be. might... You think oh, we can get Will and Nico to make an appearance? I mean, I would like to even more regional. I mean, I want to see... Matty O. <coughs> I want to see. I'd like to see Kenny come up from Florida. I'd like to see. I'd like to see right? John E. We ain't got to come up with all the crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's all about Virginia. where the NTs are. It's all about Tennessee. Okay, Tennessee. Okay, Tennessee. So Tennessee. what if we have a goal Tennessee. to raise A tier money Tennessee. this year and then do a actual A tier at least following? Boys, if you guys want to do it, go for it. Do it. Come on, boys, let's go. So who else? Start who else wants to? I just want to see the I want it bad. Eight tier money this year? Yes. I mean, two, two, well, that's going to take like a, a, a committee or a team or something. Oh, yeah. 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 So, 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 Let's try and break from. I mean, we've never done it before. Car wash. Let's, let's, let's make money on the amateur. Let's see what kind of profit we can do. We've, I've always run the amateur at a zero net because I wanted to get back to the amateur. That's why they come. It's going to be That's what I'm saying. Let's run the amateur. Let's run the amateur. Are you in? You want to do it? Take that money. All right. We're going to do that. We share our beliefs. And let's 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 number four. Let the club kick in. Four five hundred fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just show us four or five and then get. Well, you're like Taylor's to fucking Florida. 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 Um, what would make that gold? I can, you know, it's well, gold easy to come up with the, 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 the link your website, the link your website, uh, well, on the website, on our website. Yeah, but we have to get some, recipe. we've got to get some traffic going on our website so it makes it viable. You know how to do that? Monetize the web Yeah, it's, you know, that's, you're right, it's, it's a great idea. Um, so I say we figure out some real that we call out uh, Bob Rose and we have look, we were just three thousand dollars in cash. At least that's kind of where I'm at. Right now, right now, right now, sponsor call out right Rose and come show up. Yeah. Yeah. If I didn't, I want to make the level so I could have a, right. a what what level do you want to be a sponsor at? Okay, but I've mine. been racking my brain. What should be gotcha. the gold level? You know, I've been right, sitting here thinking, okay, we'll what should be bronze? Okay, okay. bronze is just going to yeah, be absolutely. your name in the caddy book. Yeah, I still want to go to the Silver would be a sign of your name in the caddy book. Or, or even summer or whatever. Yeah, yeah we got to up, up, up that low end price because $25 would be ridiculous. When I could end up with a sign, I'm like, sign me up and my home. I didn't have to talk to him. Or I could have a sign if I wanted for $25. Kinston's like, the entry level is like 100 bucks. 
You know? And, and I think that's what we need to grow to. We I think he's there. And Muhammad's right there. Like, he's bumping up okay. with whatever the minimum is. It is. So if we bring the minimum up, it's going to bring all of them. 25 bucks. So I'm just saying, do you want to sponsor? I think as a, as a, as a, as a reputation alone. Yeah, because we love doing like 20, 100 bucks with the pitching. Uh, and, so, and, and honestly, if we want to kind of. We want to get the business and still go there. We donated 100 bucks to the just playing that. You guys are the idea. We donated 100 bucks to Jacksonville's little C2 company. Well, Jacksonville's going to reciprocate that. Greenville's going to reciprocate that. We had, we had no problem saying 100 bucks. Yep. Right, a higher so bottom so line, and then the we kicker is that you're, and it's both corners. That's not for each. Without a number on it. Dicker. Yeah. Somebody I like Dicker. Dicker. Breaks one. What? The <laughs> kicker, the kicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, That's what you heard. I like Dicker. Dicker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be $5. I'm sorry. Go ahead, I think the gold level should, should be every player takes home your, you know, logo on a disc or a shirt. On something. You're guaranteeing 90 guys are taking it home with them. Well, the only thing about the only thing about putting their logo on a shirt is is that you have to make a shirt. And the only thing about the pros is is that you, all right, classic example. Downey's Players Cup this year. Downey's Players Cup has a has a phenomenal reputation, correct? Mm -hmm. all right, this year the payout was fucking garbage. He it just turned his tier. It was less than last year's, and they have not even turned their TD report for a tournament in October. He, just he hasn't even turned it in until this week. Today. So they had a ton of money raised, but that is that is an example of a tournament going down. Mm -hmm. So I got an awesome shirt. I got a really really cool personalized dry fit polo. But and that's cool. But I'm telling you guys, there's one thing that professionals, every professional in the freaking world, does not give two shits about a personalized polo. No. They care about money. 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 They do not. It, the players packs are awesome. If you want to give me a players pack, hell yeah. But do not take it out of my right. entry yeah. fee. My entry fee needs to go to. I don't. The I don't see a reason for a players pack for the pro. I think it should be all money. But that's the whole thing. So then that, that takes in one away. That takes away one thing that we can offer as potential sponsors is your logo on a T-shirt that goes out to your. Well, I think I think I think the hey. only point should be Dis. your logo on a sign at a professional event. Well, that's the, now we have two things. And we're going to put you in the caddy book, and we're going to put you on a sign. And that's so that, that starts where's getting that, that gold. Where's that gold, level, level, gold. Yeah. Where's but, that gold level sponsorship? I mean, if we could nail down guaranteed news coverage, or we can nail down... Um, we can get news coverage. Radio, you know, like, like PortCityDaily.com does free, the community calendar is free. I, I mean, if we just... I'm not saying the answer isn't out there. I'm just saying we got to think about it. No, all those yeah. things are, those are good ideas, and we, you know, we... We made a little bit of a push at the beginning of the year to, to reach out. That was kind of one of the communications committee things is to say, I want uh, the email list of WWAY on down the, all the radio, all the TV, the public station, so that every time we did something, we would blast all those community resources. Yeah. That's, that's another kind avenue of what you're talking uh, A communications committee Thorsten. project. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. Just put that email list together one time, and then it's done. So I mean, sports per. Yeah. This lady, how many, yeah. how many yeah. gold yeah. sponsors yeah. do we think we're at? Five. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's five. So if we get five, 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 I mean, we're giving them a, 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 a crowd. Yeah, they're Flaming Amy's is making the money. Yeah, yeah, they're making, stuff. they're making. But, but let's let's go abstract. Yeah. You know, let's go to somebody like Heath. What are we going to give Heath for a five hundred dollars sponsorship? Maybe, or maybe, maybe sole right to have? sell this at the end because we're going trophy only. But then, but now we got, but we're isolating Heath, giving him an advantage. Right. What are we going to make for yeah. the next? So we, it's got to be an even play. Well, that's true. Like. <coughs> If I sold hot dogs, I would want a flyer in the thing with a coupon, and then I would want you all to say, hey, you know, support these hot dogs. They, you know, donate to the tournament. There's a coupon in the back. That's what yeah. I would want. Yeah. Lots of hot dogs. So, so the cool thing is you give a coupon for because you know you're going to make that plus the upsell. And I can see every turn. That's right. So when that coupon comes in, coupons? you can say, yeah. I just made, I got 45 of those coupons back. Right. And I took, I made that, that donation, and that donation made me. Right. Excellent. Because we sponsor a lot of other things, and that's what I care about. I want my coupon and thing. I want them to say, 
hey, go buy you know games from you know from Heath. And you want you know, them to come they, in and buy those games from. Discount, so I can see that. But those, see, that's the thing with all these guys out of town is they're not going to hit up local retailers. That's but true. there's a ton of local guys that will. So that's the whole thing. Right. It's, it's not that they have to have ninety. That's right. You want to know what you're getting yeah, for your 20, money. Twenty-five yeah. yeah. people that come in. And you, take each business owner would figure out if they're getting enough for their money. He just made his freaking money back plus. Yeah. Well, look, look, look at Crosstown. Crosstown put everybody's name on this, and that's this I gave away. It's all about. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 all about. Like I said, it's we can do certain things for the amateur that are easy to do. Yeah, and then certain things for the pro that is different. That's this is for the I'm okay. stuck about it. We yeah. flushed out a lot of it, but yeah, you're right. It needs a little bit more attention. And more that's right. On hunting it down. <clears throat> all right. Um, there's two more things here. I, the club hoodies was uh, requested that we put that up, the apparel, but uh, I, I think we should table that for the next meeting. I do want to just quickly go over this last subject. Um, does anybody know who Scott Stoney is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. If any of you guys don't, Tell you guys me. need to freaking pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was, I discovered him on YouTube. He was really the yeah. first it's for bad. about 10 years in the 90s, it was... Ken Climo and Scott Stokely, first and second, mm -hmm. yeah. every single tournament. And Ken Climo like threw his rocks down too. the middle, and yeah. Scott, yeah. Scott yeah. Stokely yeah. threw his it's shots over crazy. the fairways. It's something crazy. Mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. but wasn't as good of a putter yeah. or an upshot yeah. guy as Ken had completely yeah. made up. He's a tall yeah. guy. Yeah. He held computer. the world's distance record for years and years at over 700 feet. Still He's does. Just, uh, still does and have the yes, forehand distance That's right, the forehand distance record. What, though? What you he, he was he the first scoring. big <laughs> <I'm saying laughs> star. He was gregarious. He was, uh, he was approachable. He was like almost the Arnold Palmer of the sport. Then he went away from the sport a little bit, but now he's getting back into it through a different way. So let me just, just read you the email exchange I've been having with him. Uh, my name's Scott Stokely, and I'm an old pro from last century. <laughs> he's feeling, you know, he's not in the limelight anymore. I was wanting to do some throwing clinics in North Carolina and South Carolina, yeah, and was hoping you could help me by suggesting yeah. which courses or towns might offer the largest potential turnouts. Thank you, Scott Stokely, PDGA number 3140. Mm -hmm. Four digit, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, when I started, it was 47657. So you just, you know, yeah. that was four, years, four and a half years. 2700. Scoot is the only one that's got a four digit. So, uh, yeah, this, this, this guy is the only one that's got a four digit. A lot of the new guys in the sport have no idea uh, who Scott is, but I'm telling you, he, him and Ken Climb are with the. So this is my response. This is a very nice surprise, Scott. I've known about you since the, the mid-90s. It's a great honor to hear from you. Our clubbing courses are located in Wilmington, North Carolina. Our premier course is Castle Hain, designed by Harold Duvall. It's a wooded course with generous fairway width. We also have soccer fields located near Hole 16 and 17, which would be ideal for clinics. I feel we could draw a large crowd and some media attention. We do clinics throughout the year and have hosted other similar events like the Eastern Carolina Open and the Dynamic Disc Road Tour. I'm just trying to throw. Yeah. Uh, as for other areas, I'm sure you're familiar with Raleigh and Charlotte. There are courses closer to us like Jacksonville, Richlands, and Lumberton that have long open holes for showcasing distance. But the local scene there may be a bit smaller. And then I go on to say that uh, on the next meeting I will let the club members know, get back with you with some information. Needless to say, we would love to have you come down and put on a show for us. There are a lot of old timers out here that know who you are. <laughs> did he reply? Okay. He did reply. He says, hi, thanks for the reply. I definitely want to do something in your town, exclamation point. Do you, by chance, have contact info in those other areas? I've contacted clubs through their websites, but it seems like those addresses get so overloaded with spam, it can be hard to reach people. Thanks again. I really appreciate your time. When was, there, when was his reply? October 29th. There was a period, I replied like immediately, and then there was a long stretch of time. That's kind three of Three or four weeks, yeah. But it's okay, I, I knew, you know. Well, just just in the video the so, you going. know, I think <laughs> we kind of <laughs> got the hook. So, uh, we didn't treat it. We Yeah, we didn't it. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 Sounds great. I will get some email addresses together for you. Do you by chance do Facebook? And I haven't heard back from him yet. Probably doesn't do Facebook. He does. He okay, does. he does. Okay. Well, that's the best way. It's, it's a done deal, boss. To be honest with you, he's, that's he was in. He was in Rocky Mount for the H year. He, oh, really? Played, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah he played. He played. played the Rocky Mount H year. I would have drove there and watched him. Yeah, it was really rad, dude. He uh, that crazy son of a bitch, dude. 
He was funny. He went and got <clears throat> disc golf tattooed on his Is that him? <laughs> yeah. I saw that picture. He has, he has cool. zero tattoos, and this dude got that, disc yeah. golf tattooed on his screen. I saw the picture. He's going. He, he's, it, Fly High Disc Golf is the company that he started. Okay. It's He's based out of Colorado. Um, I think he was looking in October to come to North Carolina and do a little tour coming through, and he wanted it. But, man, he started this back in like May. Uh-huh. Um, he got on Disc Golf Course Review, started his own thread. I want to do it. I want to do, uh, what do you call it? What was um, it? Well, clinics. 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 What calling them. So people were like, yeah, Scott, we'd love to have you here. Some people prepaid for it. He didn't show up. Uh -huh. It's been a total shit oh, show. Wow. Um, every one of his discs is named after a strain of marijuana. He has AK-47, um, uh, yeah. you know, uh, all the strains of you know marijuana that you can imagine. It's great. It's a good thing if he comes. That would be yeah. awesome. But I think it's. I think we've missed our well, window. I understand. I understand. You know, I've heard a lot of things about what's going on in his life, but he had some very severe he just really injuries. Injuries. Yep. Which took him out of it. I'm sure there was depression. You're, he's a world class athlete. Absolutely, and he can't. Do You're it. hitting on everything that he and, did. And um, I had the chance to shake his hand at the Worlds one time, and he put on a side on the clinic. I followed him and Ron Russell around when they did the doubles. And I just, I love the guy. Yeah. He's just the most. He's like your brother. He's, he's already knowing. Yep. If we can get him down here, it would be wonderful because he is a freaking legend. He absolutely he is, is a legend. That is exactly well, right. Here we have thing. one. We have he's a opinion. freak is a better way to use yeah. it. Absolute <laughs> disc golf. Freak. I mean, this is good. We have a lot of fucking I've got some of his videotapes, too, which is interesting to fun watch. I've got, v, I've got VHS yeah, of Scott How to Throw Scott Yeah. 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 <laughs> and he's, it's so funny, yeah. it's VHS, so he throws it. And he's like, yeah, you do this. And the disc just disappears. Like, <laughs> he was like, and then you have no idea, because it goes so fucking far, so fucking fast. Like, those cameras back in the day could not no, keep up with it. No, you know? You're like, okay, I saw him, he threw it, but I don't know what it did. <laughs> yeah, it gives you a lot of insight, though, to really his does. technique, and he, it's really like getting a little personal lesson with him. I'm not saying don't pursue it, mm -hmm. but don't be surprised if it's... Yeah, if well, look, well, I, I think that Check he's, it out. When he's trying to make money. Uh, I don't know if you all remember Jason uh, Engel, Engelman. Mm -hmm. Is that the yeah. dude with the, the, the baby carriage? Yeah, he's back. No, uh, not no, not that. No, 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 that's different, Jason. That's oh, different, right. Jason. Uh, <clears throat> no, we're talking Jason. about. Drug. Oh, you talking about Jason from Colorado? Yeah, yeah. 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 He knows him. Hmm? Okay. He so knows him well. A little bit of a friendship with him. We're alive right there. Yeah. He's in Rhode Island. Right? Yeah, he's in Rhode Island. Just, but but right. thank you, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Me and Alan both have bro. Jason's number because me and Alan both played a lot with right? Jason. Yeah, leave it. Oh, and. Look, it wouldn't be too much to yeah, have yeah, Alan that Later, Jason. give him a call. See you, man. Like, Thanks, bud. Can you call stop for us? Because, okay, yeah, maybe it's a long shot, but Jason does know him very well. They're good buddies. That's cool. Alan has a number seven of ten disc from Jason's company that Jason signed and Scott mm -hmm. signed at his house. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think what Scott's trying to do is he's trying to generate income. He's got all this, you know, a lot of years have gone by. He sat down and had a long, hard talk with himself and said, look, you have this talent, you have this ability. It doesn't matter that you're not a top 10 or top 100 player. You're a good person. You're, you're open. You bring people into the sport, and you can also make some sort of a living off of it. He's trying to capitalize on his talents, and I'm 100% behind it because once you meet the guy, if, you, if you've never played disc golf before, you want to go out and find out what it's all about. I think the reason he's having trouble with these other clubs is because of just the fact that, that, that Jacksonville and Kinston and some of these other places, um, the club scenes are, you know, in and out, maybe some of them more stable than they were. They're not as organized as we are. They're not, you know, they're happy to get their monthlies done, and he's just not getting a response from these people because maybe the clubs just aren't as... Maybe they don't know who he is, or they're just not haven't got it together as much. That, that's what I'm thinking, and that's totally understandable. I mean, if he contacted Richlands somehow through their website, he may have never got a response at all. Yeah, you that's know? right. So that's exactly right. I know that I've sent many emails out to clubs over the years and just never got a response. Yes, so it does happen. <clears throat> so ending on that wonderful good note, are there any announcements? Okay. We'll table the uh, apparel discussion for the next meeting.
And um, I guess at this point, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Mm -hmm. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right. Simple meeting. <laughs> So we get Scott Smith so, That would be freaking awesome. Yeah. We'll get done. Yeah. We got Barry Shul. We got Cam Todd. Yeah. We got uh, uh, we had a couple of big ones come through. Oh, yeah. And if we can get Scott Stokes and Steve Bobby, I mean, you know, the, in my mind it was Ken and Scott and Barry and uh, Ron Those are the big four. The big four. They were always at the events. There were two. Cam? Cam Byron went been, on a run from 2000 to 2009. He won nine championship world championships. He won eleven championships from 2009, from 2000 to 2000 or to, to no, no, 1990 to 99. And in 2004, he had twelve. Two people beat him: mm -hmm. Ron Russell, Barry Shots. Yeah, and you know he taught Ron how to play. You know the story. He taught, he told, he taught Johnny. Johnny is a king climber. Yeah, and Brad Hammock had lessons, and I think Cam had some lessons. Ken Climo the style of golf used to be a lot rougher and tougher than it is these days. <laughs> you don't know the real Ken, what he used to be. But thank goodness he's mellowed and matured. But he just wanted to win and be here. It's the same Michael Jordan type of, I'm more, I just want to destroy you. That's right. I want to demoralize you. I want to defeat you in the first nine holes. That's right. And then cruise for the next three rounds. Tiger Woods. Yeah, it was the, that same sort Tiger of Tiger Woods is, is the Ken Climo of golf. Okay. Because Tiger Woods does not have the accolades mm -hmm. that Ken does. Tiger Woods was nowhere near as dominant. That many world championships, not in a row. I don't think anybody ever. Well, ever. We ever will this was never, all ever, ever, ever be. <laughs> yeah. That was all DX. He was throwing a freaking. I don't know. The best of three. Dude, I'm good luck. Well, that's a goal for us. Well, give him time. He's got the reasons. No, Macbeth no, doesn't have the the, the well, substance. Let's, let's talk about let's talk about Macbeth's shortfalls. How many U.S. championships does Ken have? Mm -hmm. How many does Paul Macbeth have? Yeah. Uh huh. Goose sure. egg. Seventeen. <clears throat> but how old how old was Ken when he got his first U.S. No, no first championship. First Worlds? Worlds. Oh, How old is Mick Beast right now? Boswell's probably right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 he's pretty he's young, but yeah. He's not that old. He's early 20s. He's got three straight. He's 25? Yeah. He's not that old. He showed he's through the USDDC, yeah. but he was, at least he was playing for first. Yeah, he was, dude. I, it's weird, man. It's so yeah, crazy it's to think that Macbeth has not won the US Championships yet. Mm -hmm. it, and to watch what happened this year was insane, dude. Like, he... It just it's, seems like if he has somewhere about three quarters through the second round, if it's a two-round tournament, or somewhere after the third round, yeah. before the fourth I'm round of a four-round tournament, he, he has that. the swift yeah, to the, and, and he either, he either okay. falls apart, uh, or he was just that you rushes just that? and yep. all its crushes. It's the thing about the USDC. The cool. the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the emergency <laughs> host. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anytime, man. My place is back. My place is all fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Three shitty rounds. You have one good round. Let's see what are you going to do this year. This year came out first round, fire, pure fire. First, he was first in first place, multiple strokes. I sent an email to Seal Skin. He can only put together one, and he can put together two or three, not great rounds, good rounds. This many people we would really like to put you aside. I mean, it just seems like when that switch hits, oh my God, it's a big beast, dude. It's a big beast. Well, they hit him with the USDGC on the 888 holes at the one. 888 holes at the one. 13. Right? Yeah, but he's everybody over in the parking lot.